glory lost forever. The Gold Coast Suns have their first ever AFL win. And it's one we will never forget. And what a great win it was for the boys against the Power last week. Definitely some good signs for the future. Hello, I'm Chris Winter and welcome to another edition of the Sun Social Network, the segment which hands you the Suns TV microphone. Now, we've had a great response to our first few weeks of the show with plenty of questions being asked to your favourite players. And remember, if you want your question asked on the show, it's really easy. You can leave your questions on our Facebook or Twitter pages or simply send us an email. Simply include your name, age, contact details, the question you'd like to ask and of course the play you'd like to quiz and we'll take care of the rest. So let's kick off the show with this week's first question. Thanks Sean for your question. Uh, the boys had a great win on the weekend and I suppose one of the things that come out of the game was that the, it was the courage of the boys and, and the character, especially in the last quarter. We were down by a fair bit and um, it was just great to see the young boys getting up for, uh, for the club and uh, it was a great win for the club. Hey Luke, thanks for the question mate. Um, it was a really good feeling. Um, Probably the best feeling I've ever had in a football game. Uh, to kick it on my left foot too, just made it even better. I don't do many kicks on my left, mate. So, yeah, it was, I won't, uh, won't forget that feeling, mate. So it was, yeah, really good. Thanks for your question, Aiden. The hardest player I've had to play on during my career would probably be Nick Rewal, purely because of his work rate and the athletic ability he has. G'day, Matt. Thanks for your question, mate. Um, it's quite a good one, um, as a matter of fact. I mean, me being new to the game, obviously, um, you know, our first year in the competition, uh, you know, we, we're getting rotated on some pretty good forward, uh, forward line players. So I've come up against uh, quite a few in the first couple of rounds and, you know, I must admit it's a big challenge. But, um, you know, our coaching staff, um, especially Dean Solomon, prepares us pretty well during the week with footage. Um, you know, we watch, uh, you know, what they are good at, what they, what they like to do, um, what foot they kick off. Um, so going into the game on the weekend, we're as best prepared as possible. You know, for our matchup, and you know, I just look forward to just doing my best throughout the rest of the season. So, thanks, mate. Well, Cameron, uh, I was pretty excited, and, uh, overwhelmed to kick four, but um, I was just happy enough to uh, help the uh, team contribute for our first win. Thanks for your question, Tom. Obviously, it was a great win on the weekend, and it's given the boys a lot of belief that we can continue to do that throughout the rest of the season. I think we, we look to be competitive throughout the rest of the year, and hopefully, we can have a few more wins. That's it for another edition of the Sun Social Network with Cameron McFadden's question for Brandon Matera being judged the best of the week. Remember you can submit your questions through our website, Facebook or even through Twitter. I'm Chris Winter for another edition of the Sun Social Network, the segment which hands you the Sun's TV microphone.